Varicose veins after pregnancy are quite common. The reason for this is because there is volume overload in the venous circulation due to increased blood flow secondary to the pregnancy, especially if you have a genetic predisposition to vein disease. The valves are damaged due to the increased blood volume. The source of these varicosities can be from the pelvic region or the greater saphenous vein, small saphenous vein, or perforating veins. The cause of spider veins in most women after pregnancy is increased diameter secondary to blood flow of the reticular veins. Many times these go back to normal size, however, over a period of years, spider veins may develop due to the previous valvular dysfunction in these small veins. That's one of the reasons that women have considerably more spider veins than men. Now, you can see these varicosities here. This occurred after pregnancy. Up here, you'll see there's, uh, for the pudundal area, we're gonna inject this as well as this, make a little neck here and remove this. And I'll show you the ultrasound. It looks like um, neovascularity, multiple little vessels uh, up high in the uh, saprofemoral junction, above the saprofemoral junction. Okay. Now this is the femoral vein. On the left is the saphenous. On the right is the smaller veins, the AAGSV. But you can scan down and you see the saphenous is there, but that's not the problem. That's not what causes the varicosities. The varicosities are actually over here. Mm -hmm. You can see all this neovascularity here. This is from the pudundal region. So we inject foam here to clot this off and do the phobectomy. So the saphenous doesn't reflux. It's all, the origin is all of these vessels in the, from the pudundal region. Okay. And this is right after the procedure, foam sclerotherapy microphobectomy, our nurse applying Dermica cream. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.